All right, guys, so welcome to our Thursday programming. Uh, so far, we've had a pretty tough week. Last week, if you've noticed, just taking a look at the programming, very leg intensive, where this week we're using legs, but a majority of it's going to be shoulder work, okay? So again, you guys are going to start to see the theme of every week in our programming and kind of how we cycle these things. So um, Thursdays, again, high conditioning with some skill work in there. Uh, I'm going to go straight down the line. We have accessory work for our strength today. So it's going to be Z presses, supine barbell rows, and strict toes to bar. All right. So for our workout, you're going to have four rounds, 50 double unders, five toes to bar, four pull ups, three chest to bar. So it's kind of like a gymnastics complex. And we'll kind of touch on that a little bit. Uh, 10 calories on the assault bike, and then 16 dumbbell box step-ups, 10 calories on the bike again, and then our gymnastics complex to finish out the first round. Five toes of our four pull-ups, three chest of our pull-ups. That's one round. The concept of this workout is transitional training. So that means can you do your double-unders right into your gymnastics complex, right to jumping on the bike, right to dumbbell box step ups, back on the bike, back to gymnastics complex, and can you keep a 10 to 15 second rest period in between each one? The time cap is 27 minutes, so that means you have to finish one round every seven minutes to make the time cap. So again, the weight should be light and you should be able to move. So taking that honest self-assessment and going, what can, weight can I move where I can do all these movements unbroken? So let's start with our warm up today. All you're going to need for our warm-up is you're going to need a band. You're going to have this band here and a PVC pipe. We're going to start by use, using this band to open up our shoulders. So the band is going to be right here at the hip level. And I'm going to start with my left hand because that's what you guys can see on this side. First thing we're going to do, you're going to put your hand in the band. The first stretch that we're going to do is you're going to turn into your arm until the band is on this side on your hip. And I'm going to walk out. I'm just going to lean forward. So each one of these stretches we're going to hold for about 20 seconds on the way through. So this is stretch number one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn all the way around. So I'm turning away from my arm. And I'm going to keep going. Watch this. Open up my shoulder. And I'm back into the wall. Okay. So... Again, I really like this because I'm just going to, if I look away, I'm stretching out my trap, my shoulder, my pec. We're going to hold this for 20 seconds. Okay, so that's stretch number two. And then stretch number three, what we're going to do is we're going to go elbow up towards the ceiling. And my hand is down. Now I'm going to lean forward and we're going to hold. Again, we're looking to hold this for about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, depending on where you're at. But in the beginning of the day, we're just trying to open up your shoulders, uh, working on gaining some mobility. So that's stretch number three. Stretch number four, what we're going to do is we're going to be facing the wall. And I'm going to take my opposite, well, I guess it would be, yeah, my opposite leg, if my left hand is in the band, my left leg is going to go back, my back knee goes down on the floor. So now once I'm in this position here, I'm going to try and open up, and I might have to back up here, but I'm going to try and get my body through, and right here, we're just going to hold, okay, so 20 seconds in this position, this is stretch number four. Once we do that stretch, we'll then switch arms, okay, so again, once you switch arms, same thing. Into the body, one, turn away, all the way, reaching back, two, stretch number three, elbow up towards the ceiling, stretch number four, walk back, right hand, right leg, reach down, hold. Okay, so once you get there, we're then going to move on to our PVC pipe. We have two rounds. You're going to jump on the assault bike, do five calories on the assault bike. And then we're going to use your PVC pipe, five pass-throughs, then five wide stance good mornings. I'm pushing my hips forward every single time, forward and back, and then five 
inchworm to a squat. Push your hips down, chest down, up. Walking up into my squat position. Push your knees out, reach up on each side. Okay, so that's gonna be five, 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 going all the way through, all right? So we're looking to go two rounds, jump back on the bike, pass throughs, good mornings, inch runs to a squat, two rounds. Then we'll be ready to go for our accessory work. So going down the line, we have five rounds. First move is gonna be a Z press. Z press is a single arm dumbbell press on the floor. So my feet are gonna be no wider than my shoulders. A lot of times you'll see people do this, I'll put their feet wide. We're gonna try and put our feet right underneath our shoulders. So dumbbell goes up, I'm tucking my elbow in, the dumbbell touches the shoulder, and then from here as I press, I'm looking to use my rib cage and push down and hold. Okay, so we're doing six reps on each arm. One to six, switch sides, one to six. Each round, if you're doing five total rounds, we're gonna try and build to a heavy as possible six reps. You're gonna see these a lot. So really pay attention to if your very last set is 35s, the next time you do this, it should be 40s. And you're gonna keep doing that until you get 40s and then 45s and then 50s. It's how we're gonna get stronger in those motions. So supine barbell rows, you're gonna have a bar, you're gonna put it on the rig, it's gonna be probably somewhere around your belly button or your hip level. Supine means my hands are underneath grabbing the bar, okay? So it'd be like a chin up, not hands over. Supine is hands underneath. What we're gonna try and do is touch your chest to the bar with your legs straight. So to do that, I'm going to be in this position. I'm gonna bring my hips up and pull my chest up and try and hit the bar. You can put your feet on the box if you want to, to make it a little bit harder, but we're doing 12 reps there. Okay, so that's what we're looking to do. And then our last piece in our accessory work is gonna be six strict toes to bar. So with the toes to bar, what I like to think about is you're basically doing a sit up, but you're hanging, it's a reverse sit up, but you're hanging from the bar. Okay, so instead of making it complicated, you're pulling up with your hip flexors, your quads, then your stomach, then your upper part, and you're also engaging your lats, okay? So to keep it simple, this is the, what I would call the easy way to do a strict toes to bar, is I'm going to lean back, and when I lean back, I'm pushing in, I'm gonna tuck my knees in, touch the bar, and come down with control, one. Okay, so I think people get too complicated and they try and put your legs out straight and they can't get it. Start by tucking your knees in first and leaning back. Uh, the gymnastics term uh, would be if you're hanging on the rings, it's like a skin the cat. So um, if you know what that is, that's what that, mo that motion should be. Now, if you get more advanced, you can put your legs straight and then go from there. So that's what we're ultimately looking to do. Just have your legs straight, control, and go right back up. Okay, so again, you're gonna, we're developing these lats here and pulling up to reverse sit up from there. So just some options for your toes to bar. You guys are doing supine rows already. I really like doing this. If you can't do those at all, take a medicine ball and use that, that spot that you're doing your supine rows. Check this out. I'm gonna go on the opposite side so that way I don't fall. And what this looks like is I'm gonna put my hips on the ball and I put my hands up like a toes to bar and I'm gonna bring my knees up to this position. I'm gonna go out and hold and then bring it back in. That's one. Out, hold, bring it back in for six reps. What that is ultimately is like our hollow position and in our hollow position, we're pulling in from there. So. Maybe just some other creative ways to do it. All right, so that's five rounds around for our strength portion. And then you'll, that'll take about maybe 15 minutes. You should just go from one to the next, adding weight, adding weight. It shouldn't take that long. You should be very warm and sweaty by the end of that. Okay, so for our workout, double unders. If you don't have double unders, we're gonna do double the amount of singles on this one 
just because it's a conditioning workout. So we're just trying to get the timing down. Single, 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 single. Okay, if you have double unders, this is your time to do it, okay? Then five toes to bar, four pull-ups, three chest to bar pull-ups. Okay, so level four, you guys are gonna do five toes to bar, four chest to bar, and three bar muscle-ups. Okay, so if you know what those are and you can do those movements, that's what you're gonna do. Level three, all we're looking to do, if you can, string these together. It's a gymnastics complex. So I'm gonna do the whole thing so you can see what it looks like. Toes to bar, pull-ups, chest to bar. Okay, so the goal is to be able to move from one to the next. So five toes to bar, four pull-ups, three chest to bars. Level two, you guys are only gonna focus on doing toes to bar and pull-ups. So you're doing five toes to bar and four pull-ups and then you're moving on. Level one, you're just doing nine toes to bar or nine hang from the bar and still work this swing motion while bringing the knees up. Okay, so again, it's a hard skill. If you don't have it, we still wanna work that swinging motion and you have nine toes to bar. The next thing you would do, you jump on the assault bike, 10 calories, and then for these box step ups, we're gonna be holding two dumbbells. Okay, so the two dumbbells, RX is 35s in each hand. We're doing 16 reps alternating. So what I like to do is whatever leg I'm stepping up with, that's the leg I'm stepping down with as well. So I'm up, stand all the way up at the top, down, and so now I just touch and come right back up. So that's two, and this is alternating, three, the goal is to be able to do all 16 unbroken with the two dumbbells. So if you go up and we're doing these step ups and you're kind of, you know, doing this right here, probably too heavy. It should be a nice solid up and down. And then same thing for the height. If you're a little shorter, use the 20, okay? So don't use a 24 if you're gonna sacrifice position, meaning you're way down here. Okay, because the box might be too high. We're just looking to get 90 degrees on this position. Okay, so once you finish your box step ups, you go back to the bike, 10 calories, and then we're back to finishing the round with our gymnastics complex. Okay, that's the end of round one, and then you start the whole thing over again. So, double unders, toes to bar, pull ups, chest to bar, bike, box step ups, bike, five, four, three, toes to bar pull-ups, chest to bar. Again, Thursdays are these high skill conditioning workouts. You're gonna get a really good sweat. The movement should be easy for you, okay? Meaning you're not gonna chalk up for a whole minute before you do your toes to bar, chest to bar, bar muscle up. That means you need to scale it back and go to your pull-ups and chest to bar so you can move to the next thing. The goal is to finish the time cap in a lot of these workouts and they're specifically designed for you to work transitions. And if you're not making the time caps, that's a direct cue that we need to scale it back and work from the bottom up rather than the top down. Okay, so that's a look at our Thursday programming. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good workout, guys.